Today I'd like to talk about uh, the indicator of capacity utilization rates and how that is one of the drivers of construction activity. The capacity utilization rate, that's the percentage of total potential output that is actually being realized at any given time. In the recession, the usage rate uh, in Canada dropped down as low as 65%, both for total industry and for manufacturing. Now the figure has climbed back to around 80%. However, where this becomes significant for construction is when the figure climbs up as high as 85% to 90%. And the reason is because at that level of utilization, firms have to start thinking about how they're going to meet either surges in demand or future demand. Now actually the number may be as high as 90% for some sub-industries because of uh, things like just-in-time inventory and computerized logistics that have made it uh, easier to operate on a knife's edge of supply and demand. But somewhere between 85% and 90% is, is the figure. When you have uh, an industry that has reached that level of capacity, they'll often be a leader. Somebody will become a trendsetter and decide to go ahead with a major investment project. And then you have a copycat effect, because if one firm is going to spend money to expand its capacity, it's going to be sure to spend that money wisely on things like uh, lowering unit, unit costs, and greater energy efficiency. So to stay competitive, rivals have to do the same thing. The threshold level also varies to a degree based on the total dollars that are due to be spent and the complexity of the project. The more dollars, the, the larger the dollar figure, and the more complicated the project, then of course, the longer the lead time that is required to bring on new production. Anyway, all of this is somewhat academic right now because very few industries are operating at 85% or higher, with one notable exception, and that's transportation equipment, which is dominated by motor vehicles. And that industry is up close to 90% of capacity. And already we're hearing about some major investment plans from some of the major automakers.